Hi, welcome to CrestCore Realty. Today we're going to go over the tenant application form. Um, just a little preview of how to get it done, the easiest and best way for the fastest processing um, to get your approvals quicker. So let's get started. First thing, very important, anything that you see with a red star will be required information. So we do need that information in order to fill out the application completely. Um, if it does have a red star and it is not filled out, it will throw an error uh, when we're done here. So make sure everything's filled out with the red star. Now in the first section, you'll have your personal inf information. That's going to be name, telephone number, your email address, your social, driver's license, your current address. Um, do make sure that information is as accurate as possible, especially the social security number. That's what we'll use to run the background check. Um, following that, we'll have the prior residences. That's going to be where you live prior to your current address. Following that is the employment or monthly income received. Okay, it's very important whether you're employed or unemployed. Uh, we do need this section filled out. You know, any kind of income is welcome to be filled out here. That includes benefits such as SSI or even disability. So let's fill this out here. and save. Okay. After that, you'll have the additional applicants and children in household. Now, this is going to be where any adult over 18 will need to be listed as an applicant. You can add them here or any children that will be living in the house that you need named on the lease. Um, you can actually enter them here too. You know, sometimes you'll need that for school or any other purposes, you can just put them here. Next section is the lease guarantor. What that is is a cosigner. If you have a cosigner uh, cosigning for you, that's where they'll enter their information. Following that is the pets. Now it's $100 per pet. Uh, there's no additional fees after that. Uh, we do have breed restrictions though, no vicious breeds. That includes pit bulls, Rottweilers, etc. Following that is your vehicles. So just click on that and fill out the, the form for your vehicle. And click save. Okay, the following section will be background information. First question, have you ever been evicted or left the house owing any money? Next is if you've ever been convicted of a felony. And finally is if you've ever had to file a bankruptcy or been foreclosed on. So for instance, we'll say yes here and fill in any required information here filed chapter 13 in 2009 okay next is the reference section we do require at least one reference name and telephone number and additional required information at the bottom here so what address are we applying for we'll call it 123 main street and our expected move-in date let's say next friday Okay, make sure your leasing agent's name is here. And your total of monthly bill payments. Now this is gonna include any additional payments besides rent that you pay each month. So MLGW um, or utilities, any kind of cable, if you have internet, uh, credit cards, the sum of all that, and then your car payment amount. Okay. So once we've got everything filled out, we'll go to the bottom here and click the box that says, I agree. And for the next section, before we sign, we want to make sure that all pop-up blockers are disabled. 
Okay, usually you can do that by going into your browser options and clicking on the settings and disabling the pop-ups. Okay, so once that's confirmed, just click on sign. And when you click on sign, after a few seconds, we'll be redirected to a DocuSign page where we'll be able to put a signature on the application. Okay, so before we get started on that left hand corner, just click on the box that says I agree to the use of electronic records and signatures. And to the right of that, click on the yellow box that says continue. So this will be your, your application form that we'll see when we print it out in our office. This is what it will look like. Just make sure all the information on it is correct. And when you're ready to move to the next section, click on the yellow arrow and you'll go down to the attachment section. Now this is where you can add any kind of identifications, pay stubs, uh, utility bills, anything that needs to go with the application to make it complete. Okay, so just click on that button. You wanna choose your file. And this can be either a picture, a PDF, some kind of document, and you wanna add that attachment. So now we've got the ID, let's go ahead and click yes to add another attachment. Okay, so we'll do pay stubs here. And let's say that we're done, that's all you've got, just click no. And we've got everything here. Okay, so now click the yellow arrow to go to the next section. And this is where we will sign the application. Just click the sign button and your full name will be listed here along with your initials here. Okay, here's a preview of your signature and just click adopt and sign. And now we have a signed application with additional documents to create the entire packet that we need to review everything. So once we finished on the bottom right hand corner is the button finish and we'll be redirected to the DocuSign page. Now we can just click out of this page and we'll be back to the tenant application form and we're currently at the payment page. Now this is where you can pay the application fee. It is $35 per applicant and you can use a credit card here to pay that. Once you fill out your credit card information, just click pay now and you will receive a confirmation email. Now, if you'd rather pay in the office with a money order or cashier check, you do have the option. You can just skip this step by clicking the cancel button. Once you've clicked cancel, we'll receive that in the office as an application with an unpaid application fee, and we'll be waiting on you to bring that in so we can process that application. If you have any questions, you can contact either your agent or the staff at Crest Corps uh, for more information. Thank you for watching this today and welcome home.